Um, good morning. It's about 10.30. I had kind of a rough night last night. So, it's kind of just me, like, picking myself back up a little bit. Things are going to be hard from now on. It's hard to explain, but I just knew, like, with everything going on in my life, like, things were too good to be true. And last night happened, so. This is the best cereal ever. I, like, brought it from upstairs, and I... <laughs> I ate the rest of the back. This is my room at the moment. It's like a little messy, so we'll just be cleaning my room and stuff like that. The first thing I always do every morning is make my bed, so let's do it. These have recently become a part of my morning routine. These are just like daily vitamins. I take the Ollie Hello Happy little gummy worms. It's vitamin D and saffron. It's like the fall and winter season coming around and like the weather changing. The sun literally cures me. So I think incorporating vitamin D in my routine during the little seasonal moment would be a good idea. And next I take these cranberry vitamins. They're like for energy. I'm gonna use them. up my desk area all of this i always keep my school backpack right here because i do college online so it's nice to just have my computer plugged in but i do have that cereal box to throw away and some more garbage in there I have a little bit of laundry we could do so let's go put that in the wash um because of what happened yesterday it doesn't really relate to social media but i just feel like taking a little break would be great like through snapchat i have like little streaks i don't like try to keep them but like i snap the same people every day whatever but i think i'm just gonna keep it to me and my boyfriend i've been having some like friendship binds i don't know but um i'm getting through and i really love being independent so it's just a whole part of it i guess <laughs> my favorite thing it's always been a part of my life i've always had lavender flowers in my backyard i have a little diffuser i'll probably put some of these oils in there it's all beat up but this is my little diffuser from urban outfitters it's cute i love it little lily so cute I want to take a shower but i'm gonna bring in his food and water right now we are remodeling so all downstairs like we don't have a kitchen right now so everything is basically in the garage so right now louis food is upstairs his water is in this little cup these are our stairs right now come on you want to eat i'm just gonna put it right here go on take it okay let's take a shower So I just got back from my shower. My after hair care, the only thing I do is brush it out. Recently, I've been trying to train my hair, so I don't normally use conditioner. Today, I didn't. I just showed you my product. So I just use my shampoo, and I use that scalp massager, and that's actually been helping with my oils. I rarely blow dry my hair. I only do that if I need a shower and then, like, go do something after. Right now, I'm wearing a pore strip. I just got these from Target. It's the Up and Up brand. I feel like they're better than the... Bior, Bior ones. I heard those ones aren't that good and I have used them in the past, but I do really like these ones. I wear everyday jewelry. So for my piercings, I have three on each ear and then a cartilage. Normally I wear all three, but recently I've just been wearing my firsts. I have this little evil eye hoop. Um, I wore it for like spooky season, but Halloween's over, but I still wear it. And then for my other side, I have this little lock. It did have a matching one with a key, but I lost that one. I just matched it with the evil eye because I don't know. I I always think like opposite jewelry is like kind of cute. As for necklaces, I just wear this one. It's from Pandora and my boyfriend actually got it for me. It's so cute. It has like little hearts on the side. It's definitely one of my favorite necklaces I've ever owned. <laughs> Okay, so I 
just did a little bit of makeup. I used the Outlast Secret deodorant. I've tried so many deodorants and I don't really like the white formula because it's like chalky and it gets on your clothes. But I've learned that um, the gel formulas, they don't work as like antiperspirant. Yeah, that's just the one I've been using recently. Um, and then for perfume, I wear pink one and cozy. Yeah, I'm going to go get gas and maybe go to Target. <laughs> we'll see what I end up doing. Let's go. The place I get gas has like a little coffee shop by it and it's in like the town right next to me. So I got a Red Bull. I got strawberry, watermelon, coconut. Ooh. That's really good. I always vary between the Red Bull flavors. It's either this flavor or this flavor with orange juice or blue raspberry coconut or dragon fruit coconut. It's always different and I go there a lot. It's like they know I'm getting a Red Bull but they never know what flavor because I never know what flavor either. I have a few groceries to get for my family so I'm just gonna go to Target since I'm in town. Okay, little Target haul for you guys. So I'm gonna start out with the things that my mom asked me to get. Since we're remodeling, like all of our kitchenware is packed up. So I got cups and some bowls. And then we needed more detergent for laundry. I used the last one this morning, so I got that. And then for me, you guys, I scored all this shit in the $1 section, okay? This little pillow was $5, okay? Here we have a blanket. Also $5. I got these little Christmas trees. They're each $1. I got two of these flocked sparkly ones. And then I just got a gold one. I'd pair like these two together and then this one somewhere else by itself, you know. And then lastly, I got some candles. These each were $3. Got a peppermint sprinkles one that says ho 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 on it. It's cute. And then I got a farm fresh fur that says Merry Christmas. It smells so good. The total for that, plus the bag, was 1963. Y'all, go hit up Target. <laughs> 